Here is the continuation of the book of Acts. We have seen the diplomacy of God in saving Saul and in revealing Christ to Saul. You see that God, upon his decision, his plans, he made it clear that he should meet with all lots of challenges, but at the end of the day, Christ should be revealed to him and he should see the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today Acts chapter 9 verse 17. Verse 17 says, And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him or on him side, Brother Saul, the Lord is given Jesus, that appeared and told thee in the way, as thou comest, hath sent me that thou mightest receive thy sight and be filled with the God of God. Ndipo ananjo kahanania na alawa nyumbayo, ndipo anayika manjaji pa yenati, saulo mbari, Ambuye watuma ine, ndi yesu amene anakonekera banjira wazirayo. Kutu penyeso, ndi kuzazi doa ndi mti mwela. Ndi popo mweko, pata kwa mamba. Akutoka maso mache, ngati mamba. Ndi popo anapenyansu. Here we see Ananias from Damasco receiving so that was on the way coming to that site. Don't forget that Saul had letters in his pocket. He was on the way going to Damascus to bound the erect, the disciples, the believers, the saints, and others to be slaughtered, to be killed. When he saw Christ in the form of the light, it was while when while he is having the forgetted letters. So, with the letters in his pocket, he fell down, had blind, while no, the pangas, the knives, the stones, including the letters, the permission is in the pocket. It never means that at first he throw away the pandas, all the killing tools, the lobs, and the letters, and then he met with the Christ and fall down. It's not that. He was falling down while everything is intact in his hands, in his pocket. This means that whatever happened, it was not his decision, but it was the decision of God in revealing Christ to him so that he might see him and with his beauty. Had it been that it was his decision, and then he would have followed out, left everything, the tools, whatever, then he made a decision to fall down to have blind. 
Kuka na kala kuti ndi chiganizo cha ke chimene chocho ndiye kuti akanaya ba wasi achina chiri chonse pansi kena ku mabwa mwino pansi. Here again we see how the Lord works upon the irrect. Pamene bonso ndo ba kuoneka mene mulungu amagwirira nchito yake pa kuposankhidwa. It's not our good decision, our options that makes us seek Christ of the scriptures. No 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 no. But while we were still sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Because we are sinners, so it was happened there like an accident to Paul. While it is a programmed program to so, to God. Ndero chimachitika monga ni mwangozi za dzizi dzizi dza kwa Saulo pa mene jina licho konze dura ati ndi mulungu. The letters weapons in the pocket in the arms. Magala ati mtuba mwache komaso mmanja mwake zida. When we met with Christ we met with Christ while our religion our doctrine personal organizations are still in our hands mene review ndi maka kumbana ndi kristu kuti zinthu zonse za chipembezo mwaife sitakali manja mwathu ndithu i remember that priambo time was preaching to the people that for you to get saved you should receive christ to be your personal savior by following my prayer so once for the prayer i was telling him now you are in line with god and uh, everybody had a decision that it was that such such date that I made that decision and followed the prayer of Nelson Banda, then I'm saved. Ndima kumbukira ndawe ya kumbuye ndiri mchipembezo, ndika mara likira ndi maoza zone na kutofunika kusatire pempero hili, kuti inuye mkale olu mikizika ndi mulungu, ndi andu waka satira pempero limene lolo amamba zone na kutofunika mikizika ndi mulungu, Modi mpaka na macho kukala ndi tsiku loma likumbukira kunena kuti tsiku lapo ndi tsiku lomwe ndi mulandira Yesu Kristu ndi mwana ndi landirisa ndi naso ni banda tsiku lapo ndi lakuti But when did the irrect get saved? Komano kodi ndi tsiku ndi limene osankhidwa yana kulumusidwa It was on the day one on the cross when he was dying is when he saved the irrect ndi tsiku ndi mene Yesu Kristo amapachikidwa amafapandanda ndi tsiku lomwana pulomusa osankhidwa which means there is no salvation without the death of Jesus Christ bomwezi kutanda kuti pali beru chipulomusa opanda ifa Yesu Kristo but the religious groups of people are holding the dead times whatever they did makes them to be christians that is false doctrine that is not the gospel that is not the word of god Komadu anthu ndi magulu azipembezo amagwira tsiku limene iwo akudana yapa kupemperana zimba zona akudana tembetuka ntima ngomamva kuti tsiku limene ndi tsiku limene iwo anaenda nesidwa ndi mulungu koma chimene cho si uthenga wabwe ndi ndi chimene cho si chipembezo cha bwino choyenera That's why when it is the God to open our eyes and see the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ we started seeing everything that we have been doing as filthy rags as dung Nchifuwa chaje, pamene pwana kondoresa mungu kusekula paso watu kuti tione kukongola kwa mwana wa Jesu Kristu. Pamene po zose zijazimene dina ziesa zilika ntuko yapa zijia zose tina zesa zapa zala zonyansa. You can't see the dung in yourself if Christ is not revealed to you. Sungate lugu zeta nika magoka yewe kangate Christu sata kutumisini kwa yewe. The dung in you are the goodness in you before Christ is revealed to you. That's why the religious groups of people are clinging to their dark in themselves, thinking that they are good, they are better than they are the saints. Did you find that they are trying to build a zimbabwezo? I'm not going to be the one that's 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 going to be the one In Damascus there was something great. Ndiye ndo kutamasi kuda chitika chikuchina cha chikulu. One the saints the brothers were in Damascus having the meeting. Moses mwa bale analipo kutamasi ko pa pa kulankulana. 
And in Damasco, Ananias was there waiting for Paul to come. But behold, look here. It's not Damascus that, that is the message, but it's Christ that was in the people that were in Damascus. Because the Damascus. It is not to preach the God to reveal Christ in you. You will be praising things that are happening at such time and said at a time you honor them. You see that it's something where it's just nothing. If one would have a single of a man, the woman will sit up in it, it was like a little cold of the upper, who mother Mada Sigula, who did Mada Mada Mala, who did one of the villages in the country. Remember uh, when the Israelites were on the way going to Canaan. They were brooks of serpents that bait the people, and God told them to make a brook serpent and put on the tree. When they see that, they get ill. That instead of seeing Christ of the scriptures there, they instruct it to be the. Sayware, Budi, Ana, Isaya, Budu, Babu, Gubu, Dore, Aurendo, Abu, Abu, Kenani, Ari, Mujira, and Alu, Mujua, Budi, Njoka, Mchipuru. So it was not that brought a serpent that healed them, but it's Christ resembled in the brown serpent that served them. So the Israelites put a memorial of praising the blood of serpent. Exactly that blood of serpent that was made at that time was honored. Praising things that happened in life. Here we are talking about Damascus. For example, when we read in the book of Second Kings chapter five says verse eleven. Chifama Jesus, the Kama we denga two ma fu mu mutu verse yake yare vinu aguti. Verse eleven of Second Kings starts by saying, "But Naaman was rough and went away and said." Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the river. Are not Abana and Fatha rivers of Damascus better than all the rivers of Israel? May I not wash in them and went away in the land. And the the and his servants came near and spoke unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee do something great, wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather than when he hath said to thee, Wash and be clean? Then went he down and dipped in himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like 
unto the flesh of a little child, and he was crying. But when he praised God to reveal Christ, he made it clear that the, the damsel, the girl should be taken there so that he should reveal that in, in the area where he's coming, she's coming from, there is a living God. Because it was the meekness that taught the wife of Naaman that helped Naaman to go to the God of this mistress so that he might get help. Now, when this Naman arrived in that country, he was expecting the man of God to lay hand upon him. He was not knowing the mind of God how the Lord works. He was not knowing the mind of God how God works. So when he met with the man, he was told to go to the river to dip himself seven times. Putting himself in the leaf of Jordan, he thought that it's all the rivers that brings healing to his body. So he started thinking about the beautiful rivers that are in Damascus, the Abana and Philippa, that they can heal him. And so, again, you can see that Naaman was coming from Damascus. In Damascus, the Abanas, the Firpa, good rivers, whether to be dipped in, but there was no healing in the river. Misinje, Menenali with Damasco, Abba, Nandia, Filipala, Emenali with Damasco, Meneo, Sina, I Nadi Bongo, Golajabi, Masina, Roman, Sabutisa, Mutu. But when we see this river that man of God was saying for him to dip the in, was a very small river. It's not a beautiful river. There is nothing good that is, you can speak about this river, very small river of Jordanity. <laughs> In other words, another one you can say was a mad river. Whereby there is nothing good in that river. So when you can see Naman, you are at on verse 1 of chapter 5 of 2 Kings, you see that it says, Now Naman 
captain of Syria. He was the captain. Ndiye dumu kama muona na mani bo wele ngabu guli mela tumbi a tuma fu mudu five ndi mega we ambayo amamu fotogoza kuti ndipo na mani kazembe wa kamula nkondo la fumu ya la mkusenza kuti akumulo fotogoza kuti na mani yu anali kazembe wa kamula nkondo he was not just a mere person he was a captain he was a giant he was a great man but having the person siku dide anali mungu ambayo kuma anali mungu ambayo mtu wankulu koma ali wakate now a great man a captain is told to be to bath to dip himself in the mother river like jordan very small river it was like an insult to him ndetu mtu wa dzika bwino wa wankulu wa kamula nkondo ngati amene yuyu akuzidwa kuti akasambe musinje wa yorodano msinje wa matobe msinje wa ungono kwa hiyo jinalinga tukungomnyoza kuntuwana so when he received that word the little man of himself told him that this is not the liver to dip in instead just go back to damascus so that you might get deep in the abana and fifa he forget his sickness when he was told about the this river the mad river of jordan to dip himself in anaiwala tukuti chimene china chitisa kuti asambe akazisambe munsinja wa matobe mumene kuti chifwa cha mawo a munthu wa mulunguyo so he, he dropped himself he thrust the word to damascus ndiyo anagani za nkati mwake kuti kuti bwanango bwera ku damasiko is how the gospel when it is was preached a person when it is preached the god to reveal christ in you you accept it but if it is not preached the god if god has left you to yourself you will thrust away the word instead you be thinking about your religion about where you are coming from ndiye tumene momo ndi mene uthenga wabu ino ulili kuti ukamala likilidwa anga kuti ankomera mungu kutsegula maswako kuti weyo ulandira uthenga ho kuzava vande ndi wose sankidwa mungu sana kupatule malomo ake walalikira kamala likira iweyo kumabwerera mbuyo maganizo mwako malomo ake kumabwerera kuchipembezo chako maganizo abana and philippa were great livers that kept in the mind of naman so easily he remembered damascus so easily when he heard about jordan the murder of msinje wa bana ndi filivala unabwera maganizo mwa naman mosa vuta pamene anangomva yezo mawo muza zona kuti akasambe msinje when the little gospel is preached your religion will come first to stand against broken the real gospel but because nobody can bound the way when it preached the god to reveal christ to you then you see christ of the scriptures you see his beauty utenga wabu notu kamala likidwa chipembezo chimadzuka nkati mwa maganizo wako ndikuyamba kutseka kutsusana nawo utengawo koma popesa uthenga wabu ino suma mangika kulibe munthu amena koza kutsusa uthenga wabu ino uthenga awo umapitiliza mpaka na ukafikira kuvumbulusira kutsegulira maswako kuti ukaone sopano kukongola kwake kwa Kristo There was a singular river that brings healing not all the rivers Pale ndi msinje umodzi wokha umene kubweresa machiriso osa ndi misinje yonse ayi Abana never heals Philippa never moves but deliver. Sinjo wa Sinjo wa Philippa la 
of his own erect. Amen. So it is the same Damascus that is having abundant and filled believers, the same Damascus where the brethren went for the meeting. Ndiyanu ndiku damasi koko mwego kumene kuli fara pila ndia para abara uja kumene abare o amaka kumana. And in the spirit, in, 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 in Damascus where there is Pirpal, where there is Abana, there is Saints, there is Ananias. Ndibomu Damascus ko mene muli Filipal ndia Abana, mene momo ndi mene tumuli abare o era ntima mene muli Hanania kumaso akupunzilaja. 18 of let us go back to the book of Acts chapter 9. Now verse 18, where it says, and immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scarce, and he received the sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. Ndipo pomwe po padakwa kujoka masomwa chenga di mamba ndipo anape nyanso verse 18 ya bukula machitidwe. Ndipo ananya muka na abatizidwa. Here scales comes out from the eyes of Paul after being prayed for. Ndiedwa hapa soba anu tikuona mamu. Saulo wabe mpenelidwa. 19 verse. And when he had received meat, he was strengthened because he stayed three days without eating, that is fasting. Then me was so certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus. Ndipo, uh, ndipo anala ndira jaguja, nao na na jompamvu, iziru zimajidika pambuye vukala masiku wa ratu wakusala guja, ndipo anakala pamozi, ndia kupuzila kudamasiku masiku yena. Here is speaking about staying with the disciples for some days that were in Damascus. Who are these disciples? These are the disciples that seems to be the enemy to him that he went thinking to kill them when he found them in Damascus. Opunzira watu ndi omwe aja amene iyo amaone kapo yamba kukala dani yake amene ama limu kukala kudamasi kwa osati na njira ayo. And these are the same Damascus that cooked the food and kept him so that he should have strength after dying or eat them. Ndipoto opunzira ake ndi omwe wa mudamasi kwa amene ana mukonzira aja kudia kuti aje mabuye kukala ninja la masiku watatu aja. Which means these are the brothers to him that gave him food for him to get strength. We are all brothers in the Lord only when it brings the God to open our eyes and see the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ifedu dili abale mwambu ya watu unga tukuta nko mera mungi kusegula maso watu kuditi one. Look at the speech of Ananias when he was speaking about Saul. He said on verse 17, after I met with his soul, brother Saul. Tufuwa raona ni mene hanania ana yamba kulangu li nanana ya Saulo, ata kuma nanana ya nyumba muja, pa verse 17, kumwana pumwepo wa puma kune na kutindipo anati Saulo mbale. It was not simple for Ananias to cause Saul a brother, but because it is God who opened the eyes of Ananias and saw, he saw that we are brothers in the Lord. Here we have brothers. Send to us, we are brothers and sisters in the Lord, only when it pleases the God to open our eyes and ears so that we hear see the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here we have brothers and sisters in the Lord, only when it pleases the God to open our eyes and ears so that we hear see the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
all the people that are not following this gospel and that Christ has left them to themselves, they're not prophets of us. No need to go the plans. Kwa hiyo duo si amene mulungu sana wasegulile maso amene sana kusadira utenga u amene usama kalabale watu ndipo sanga kale abale watu but you can see marches of people are just calling each and every by the brother just to praise to praise somebody kumaru mukwanza kuona magulu anthu ambiri amango ina na bale bale lolinga jongo sanga la sana we are not here to praise one but to serve the lord and to praise god and to worship him Verse 20. And straight away he preached Christ in the synagogues that he is the son of God. Verse 20. And straight Which means the foreign town of Saul, the bread on of Saul, the the taking out of the uh, the taking out of the scales from his eyes the the right that he saw everything the whole contents he was Christ teaching him the gospel that he is to preach there izidu zikutanda uza kuti kristu mwini ndi amene ana mupfunzisa saul kuti amuzindikire iye kuchokera munthu awe imene iye ana gwapa njira ana kala wa kungu zonse zomwe zina jidikira kufikira kuchoka kwa mamba maso wake ana ali Kristo mune wakamera ali kuzivuvulusa kuziponzisa kwa kwa wasaulo the three days staying without seeing without eating it was Christ teaching him himself so that he might preach him masiku atatu ajamena na kala osa osa ona kwa maso saja aina ali kunthawi Imene Kristo mwine anali kumfuzisa Saulo kuti akamlalikire iye. We need to praise God to open your eyes and ears so that you hear and see the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ, the same Christ who direct you, who teach you, who give you the message that is that you are to preach, no any other messages. Ngati kuti ankomera mulungu mwine kukutsegula maso ni makuti kuti uone ndikumva ndikuona kugongola kwacho kwa Kristo. Kristo yemwewe ndi amene aza kusogolere kuti amene ongalalikire utenga wabwino ndiyo anthu amene ukhoza kuwalalikira wose sokoneza If it is not please the God to open your ears then you need a bible school a bible seminary a theological school to teach you about preaching Christ Komano ngati zisinga chitike mwa kufuna kwangu ye kukutsegulira maso ndi makuti ona ndikumva malo mwake uzafuna mapfunziro apa deradera kupita kuma phunziro wa ubusa kupita kuma seminar au awoti kuzika phunzira za mawa mulungu ni maganizo nda kuti ukhozoka lalikira Kristo so in a Christ that has been taught at the seminaries bible schools theological colleges is not the Christ of the scriptures is the Christ of the knowledge of the people that that people give each other the, the small Christ or the small see Christ that is with in the that is in the hands of the people ndiye malumwa ke kumapfunziro amene amachitika amene o anthu amene amene amaphunziro kumene kusama kala Kristo wa malemba ai koma ndi Kristo ochokera maganizo mwa anthu amene amachita kugawana kungo kala pansi kumaganiza kuti kodi tizi dibwanji za Kristo basi kumagawana zimenezo malumwa ke sama kala Kristo wa malemba koma Kristo wa munzeru za anthu here we, are, we we did not see Christ teaching so all of the verse that said that Christ taught him that now you should be preaching this and this no but it just says straight away he had the message now to preach Christ in the synagogue tifuadwa apa siti kuona pamene ale mbapo zonena kuti ndipo Kristo anayamba kumukhunzisa Saulo kunena kuti utere utere magulidwa achitoka pena mkulalikira ai koma kunena kuti ndipo nthawi yomweyo analo wa msunagoge nayamba kulalikira Kristo why preaching in the synagogue because it was the only place that people were gathering so he had to go to the synagogue because he would find people gathering there and he might preach Christ there ndijifuwadu yone na kuti musunagoge ndi malo mmene amasonkhana anthu ambiri kodera kuti panafunika kuti akhale pa malo anthu ambiri ipo kuti amulalikire Kristo the second thing is not just preaching about Christ but speaking 
Who is Christ? Komaru jindu jina jone na kuri siku ngo lari kila za krisi duyo ayiko makulankula za yesu yo. Because multitudes of people who speak about Christ, 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 Christ. But which Christ are you preaching in? Chifatu wa nduwa mbili ya koza malankula za yesu, 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 fuso mkumate kwa nindi yesu kwa mbili ya mbili ya mbili ya mbili. Here the spirit is speaking to a certain Christ that so is preaching the Christ that is very different with the Christ that the people were knowing him. Ndiyo tu pandime ya tuente po akuone sena yesu wa padiladela kapena kutu yesu osia na ndi yesu wa maganizo wa wantu. Amene paulo asa uloyo ana mlarikira. Because he had faith. When he was preaching Christ to the synagogue, he said that he is the son of God. Chifalo wene wa kulangu la zonena kuti mene ya maladi kira yesu krisu musona gogana nina kuti iye ndiye mwana wa mulu mbu. How did Paul, how did Saul see that Christ is the son of God? Ndeno Saulo yo, anaona bwanji ya banana ziwa bwanji kuti krisi kundi mwana wa mulu mbu. Because when we go back into verse 3 of uh, Acts chapter 9, it says, when he was chanted, he chanted, he, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shine around about him a right from heaven. That is Christ. To forward the Gamaway and Gabua, Vesrajita, and Dimemwe, and I, and Yamashi, and we, I will uncle the Bobo end of the door, you could not put the E and end the Gabutamasi, go and the Mazi Z, Kudawa, La, Momsumburida, Guni, the Gojoga Gumamba, I mean, in the Kisidu. So when the light descended from heaven upon him, is when he saw that it's not just the right, but it's Christ, the Son of the living God. Ndiye tu pamene kuwala kwa jokela kumamba kuna mkwela yendi kumzungulila. Pamene kwa pamene Saulo anakaona kuti siku nari kuwala wa ambayi kwa makuti ndi Yesu mwana wa mulungu. When God has opened your ears and see and hear the oracles of God and open your eyes and see Christ, the same time you see the beauty of Jesus Christ that is not just a male Christ but Christ the Son of the living God. Ngadidu mluwada tsegula makutuwa kukutu umvezi nsisi za ndima mluswa utenga wabu ino. Nkudase gulaso wa maswa kukutu uone krisi duwa maremba. Pamene po uzazi ndikira kukutu uyuyu si yesu wamba kumamene ndi yesu mwana wamulungu wamoyo. Again when we go back on verse 20 when he says straight away he preached Christ it means from that point he had no another message but the message of Christ only. Ndipo nso munga mwere na mundi mege ya tuente wa mina kune na kuti amusona kukanala kira yesu zikutanta zona kuti anadibe so china jojita kapena china jola mkula kumatu chumina nala mkula ye ndi kwa lo zirandu jabe kwa yesu. When he says straight away it's the Christ it means he never compromise the message. Agamani na kuti ndipo anala kira yesu kukutanta zona kuti yeyo sana pangiti yeso kapena kusoko neza utenga ayi. The real message is that so received from the Lord Straight away, he preached that message. Utenga weni weni umena na ulagira saa ulo kujokera umamba wa krisi dundu utenga wa mwene ya na ulagira. If your eyes are seen Christ of the scriptures, preach that Christ. Ngadidu maso wako anaona krisi wa maremba ulagira krisi duwe. But if your eyes see nothing, then it is very difficult for you to speak about Christ or to preach Christ of the scriptures. Kumangatiwe maso wako sana onega, tunko fuda tukudu ula likireza krisi tuwa maremba. Again he's saying, if he spoke that Christ is the son of the living God. Ndibonzo wako piti za kulangu la kutanani na kutu yesu yo ndi mwana wabulungu. Which means, he saw Christ in a spiritual world, not the physical world that he can saw Christ as the son of Joseph. Zimezi kutanda wuza kuti anamu wana Yesu Kristo amene muzimu. Chufu waka nakala kuna anamu wana kutubi. Mweza kumana na kuti Yesu ni mwana wa Yosefe. So it is only when you are in spirit, when the Lord has opened your eyes, when Christ has been revealed to you, then you manage to preach 
the Christ that you have seen it. Ndiye ndipo kabu bamene iwe ukala muzimu mungwatse gula masuwa kwa muzimu ndiku mwona kristu yo muzimu mpamene uzamula ligile kutia su kristu ni mwona wapu mungu. Here Christ the Son of God has been preaching in the Sunagok. Ndiye ndipo apa yesu kristu mwona wapu mungu wapu yo wala ligile kutia su sunagok. Verse 21. But all that heard him were amazed and said, See not this he that destroyed them which called on his on this name in Jerusalem and came hither for that intent that he might bring them out and all the chief priests. Which means so was preaching the Christ that makes people amazed to get amazed the week. Chibere chikutanda uza kuti Saulo tu amalalikira Kristu amene anadoda kuisa pamasopa chikutanda patanga za yadabwa. Don't accept all the people to accept the message that we're preaching. Musamaye mbekezere kuti anthu wonse amene azalandira uthenga ndiku kupita uthenga amene mukula likira. But others who get amazed with the message that we're preaching. Kumatwena azangoda bwana uthenga amene mukula likira. The people get amazed because they know so and with his background. And who wrote about that one? I found a Muslim Saulo who took it as a bit of a. So he wondered the type of doctrine, the type of the message that he is preaching. Then we are going to go and find out what he is going to do with Saul and Gira. He presented the message that he do preach. What do you think of many new people and Gira? And how much are they now? Kabina, how much are you seeing this? What do you think of many people and Gira? Because I remember those Genesis time that when I was preaching, even the people were standing in, were standing in the in, in that press and start jumping, clapping hands, uh, history, and they said, God, if a God, if a man of God, are the people doing it that way when you are preaching? To find any Wumbu Kirapoyamba, many Malari Kira, and Tavia Wumbu, when the Mari de Malari Kira, and Tuda Maimba, Manja, Buriza, Mifiori, Maricuru, Kumaiba, Kuna Kumala, and Kula Kuna Kurai, Alam Kuran is a way as of Wamu. What is the minister of the minister of Kamachi and Kamalari Kira? When they say that people were amazed, it doesn't mean that the people were accepting, or the people were accepting the message that Saul was preaching. No. Agamani na anukudia antwa na zizwa. Saa kuranta uzakuda antwa sa naula nila utenga wa mina maula ligira wa ayu. Others were thinking that it is a trick that he has come just to bound people in that way of preaching that message. Antwe na ramangu wana ngadi nchengere roja beri mene wabwela na alofulani mene yone na kuda kili ya nkupo kilisa nchito kula ligira utenga wa. Which means when you are preaching the real gospel, people have many expectations from that gospel. But blessed is the one who God opened his eyes so that he can hear the real Christ of the scriptures. Zimene zikutanda uza kuti nionga ni mulali kira utenga wene wene wabu ino and one bili ya zanda kwa nao utenga o kumadu ulo dala ni kiso ni mene mungu wali tsegulila kuti ni kaone kiso tuwa mbalemba. The last verse for today, verse 22, says, but so increased the more in strength and confounded the Jews which dwelt at Damascus, proving that he, this is a very Christ. He was proving that this is very Christ. Yeyo tu amatimi gizi la kuda amene ndi Christo. Don't forget the strength. Straight away he preached the Christ. Musa yuare tu kudi pa jam suna kogen ha yume anala di kira Christi tu. So the straight away preached the Christ was proving that the Christ he is preaching is very 
Christ. Ndeto mtuha imene ya nangu yamba kulari kila Christu, ama chikila umbo ni kutimi gizira kuti Christu wa mena kumulari kila ayo. Ye mwe uja, mena na mlonjeza mbuye kutakuza. So the very Christ is the real Christ of the scriptures. The Christ of the Lord. The Christ that God, uh, that the, the Bible says of him. Ndimo kuti Christ wa amene yo, ndia Christ wa weni weni wa maremba, amene kakare maremba, anaya mpakari kulangula zaiye mungu, anani niladu za amene yo. The other thing he said, he increased, he so increased him more in the strength. Ndimo kuti nduchina jukone kawapo, nchone la kuti ndipo, saulo, anakula kulabe mpangu. The more he is preaching the gospel, the more he is increased in strength. Ndiye mene iya ama bitu za kulari kila utenga ni mene soya makulira mpangu. The more he is increased, Christ became too much to him. Ndipo mene iya ama kulira, zima tantawa za kuli kilisi duweodu ama kala wangkulu kwa posa kwa yeyo. When we continue preaching Christ of the scriptures, we will increase in him. And when we will increase in him, not increasing of whatever he does, but increasing in the hearing the Christ of the Scriptures is when we will continue preaching the very Christ of the Scriptures without compromise. When the Bible says he was increasing it doesn't mean he increased himself. No, he was decreasing, but Christ was increasing. So because Christ was increasing, Christ became too much to him that he had no another message that he gonna preach but Christ of the scriptures. That will be the very Christ that is worthy to be preached. Nde agamani na gudi anakuli na kuli la mumpangu. Sawa kuna nta uzakuli yeyo ama tiguza ai. Kuma gudi yeyo ama kuza kilisidu. Nde wameza kilisidu wa mena mamla likila ndiku mkuza ayo. Kilisidu wa kama kuzidu. Kilisidu yeyo ama chulu kila mpangu mwa yeyo. Maloma ake, makuma matseguka, au tengo wabu nukuta kwa zobili liza. Kula likila utengo wabu nukuta kilisidu. He must increase. I must decrease. Nye agure kuma inendijepe. Nye agure kuma inendijepe.